Deadly violence struck across the African continent over the weekend. First in Somalia, at least 13 people were killed and 25 wounded in Mogadishu Sunday when a car bomb exploded outside a hotel that hosts the Chinese and Egyptian embassies. The Somali-based terrorist group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the blast that targeted the Hotel Jazeera near Mogadishu International Airport. The hotel is often used by members of parliament and journalists in addition to foreign diplomats. Local media reports say that most of those killed were civilians. A pro-Al-Shabaab website says the attack was carried out by a suicide bomber in retaliation for the recent death of militant fighters in Somalia's Bay and Bakul regions by Ethiopian troops. Somalia's internal security ministry spokesman says the attack was devastating. A huge explosion has occurred at this hotel carried out by anti-peace agents. Many have been killed and many others were also injured. Again, this is un-Islamic because most of the people killed were innocent. Ethiopia is one of several East African nations that have troops in Somalia fighting al-Shabaab. The group has also lost most of the territory it once controlled but carries out periodic high-profile attacks. In West Africa, an explosion set off by a female suicide bomber killed at least 14 people at a market in northeastern Nigeria. Witnesses say 50 people were wounded. Officials say the early Sunday blast occurred at the entrance of the market in the town of Damaturu, the capital of Yobi state. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for the attack. Earlier this month, at least nine people were killed in Damaturu, when a female suicide bomber targeted residents preparing for a Muslim festival to mark the end of the Ramadan. And Cameroonian officials say a suicide bombing at a bar killed at least 14 people on Saturday. It was the third suicide attack in the town of Mara in three days. Authorities say a woman and a nine-year-old girl detonated explosives in a large market and a residential area in the town Wednesday, killing at least 13 and wounding dozens of others. Although no one has claimed responsibility for either set of bombings, authorities suspect the blasts are the work of the Nigerian militant group Boko Haram. Cameroon's army has clashed with Boko Haram often and is part of a multinational task force being set up to combat the terrorist organization.